down good enough or not what's going on out there hmm this tripod I don't know if it's gonna work or not hey, I'm doing alright brother I'm still alive how are you We are making some my old favorite jigs. What's going on, Larry? AJ, Bruce. I'm getting a where I pour. Them. You gotta clean that spur off of them. Where you break it off a of lead, it's got spur on them. Ouch! I forgot the name of this jig, but I know it catches a lot of crappie. So I figured I'd share it and show you how to make it. Get you a different. This is how I make my disco pink. But we're not making this all the way disco paint. So all you need is some disco silver. This disco silver is going to be uh, your main ingredients on a lot of your new colors you make. Now you can use flashy pink, but I think it don't show as good as the candy pink. The flashy pink is candy pink with a lot of flash in it, glitter. But somehow, it don't look as good as the candy paint, and that's my opinion. Anyway, y'all, another video I had, I already showed y'all how to make a good clean jig. To put Luminal full. These are uh, the Shiner Diner heads. So what I do is I get me some, since this is a one hook, I use a 332 ink shrink wrap. And uh, we'll put it on top of the I like it right there. Now, I'm going to show you the steps. It's very important when it comes to putting two-tone colors on these type of heads. Because once you put that on there, so you put it on here like this. Okay, it's, it's on there. But when you go to use your candy colors, right here. If you put leave that sh shrink tube on there, there'll be a little hump like that in there. So what I do, now you can only do these on the candies. So I dip it in the disco. Then I take the shrink, shrink wrap off. And then I take the pink and take my powder and powder on the top like this right here. And just take your blowtorch, and there you go. See, now, you may have a little red on the eye, but you can't hardly see it. And that's what it looks like. You have the disco on the bottom, and your candy peak on top. And that's a good crappie jig right there. And just take your aluminum foil off. 
I, I, I'm going to show you the, the difference. I don't know if you can see it or not. You see how smooth that is on top? Right here? Now watch what happens if I leave my shrink tube on there. These are eighth ounce, one hook. But when you bake this and cure it in the oven, it's really going to show up. So that's why you've got to take that shrink wrap off. Or, I mean, it'll it'll have a little hump, but it ain't. It's not a deal breaker, but I'm picky, so. But anyway, so if you leave this on there, like I'm going to this time. Hello, uh, Michael. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm hanging in there. I've been a little sick, but that's nothing unusual for me. Now watch. When I take that off, you're going to see a little indention in there. And then when you bake it, it's going to go down into more. So you're going to have like a, a little hump that goes like that. That's just the way it does with the, on candy. But it's not a deal breaker. Anyway, let me show you what a finished product looks like. Probably won't be able to see it good, but I'm going to show you anyway. Here's the ones that catch a crappie on right there. See that? I don't know if you can see that or good or not, but I've yet to finish this because I've been so busy. But uh, that's what the finished product looks like. But these are just going to be jig heads. But yeah, that's how you do it. Now, if you want to make a disco paint, and this is a really cool looking color. You need, they do make a disco paint from the factory, but it looks red, like my face is, and uh, it's not pink. So it got me mad, and I said, there's got to be a way of figuring this out. So I did, and a lot of people, are, a lot of these jig makers are catching on, so I'm just going to show the people that don't know. I'm going to take my jig head. Now you can use... Uh, flashy paint but I'm just going to show you right here with this candy paint now you just take your candy paint stir it up I don't know if y'all can see I'm sorry but I'm trying if not you can still get the point uh, put your put your uh, limited foil and your shrink wrap if it has a hard time, what I'll do is I'll heat it up like that right there, and then I'll stick it on and it'll stay. Because it's a little hook on here. Now you can also take this and dip it in a third color, like a, a glitter, and just dip it in there in your disco like that, and then go real fast in your disco paint. And that's how you make a disco paint. And it's a real pretty paint. And you'll have all that glitter and disco in it. So that's a new color. See how pretty that is? It's a beautiful color. So that's how you make the disco paint. Hold on a minute, my battery's going low. I'm going to have to click my power on. There we go. So that's how you make the disco paint. Now... I'm going to show you how to make a disco chartreuse. This may not make no sense, but it works. And it's good, and I hope you all can see it. I may have to do this on my phone. Can you all see pretty good? Let's try it like that right there. And then after I get this done, I'm going to save the video. There's a bunch of new colors I'm going to show you how to make, but that is going to be your foundation on most of them, is this right here, is your Disco Silver. So you might as well get you a big jar of it. 
Now, get you a jar. They sell it at TJ's Tackle, and it's called Flash Yellow. Flash Yellow. Stir it up and do this just the same thing as I did with the pink. And this is going to make you a disco chartreuse. I'm not even going to put all that stuff on it. Just save some time here. You're going to really enjoy these new colors. I've got four or five I'm going to show you. But I ain't going to do it today because I'm too busy. But I figured I'd come on here and see how everybody's doing and teach y'all a little bit of something. I'm going to start teaching people because I'm about ready to retire. I don't do as much as I used to. Now that's a beautiful color right there. That flashy yellow and the disco. And that'll make you a disco chartreuse. Now you could take that disco and dip it in there, dip it in some uh, chartreuse or this flash yellow, and then dip it in some red glitter. Will be the same thing. So there's you another new color. I would turn the camera around and show you, but it's on a tripod. So there's you two new colors. Try out, and then we got at least seven or eight more to do. Uh, matter of fact, to make all of it easier. If you get anything candy or transparent and put dip it in disco glitter, uh, silver, you make new colors. I can't help myself. We're going to do one more. Let me see if I can find it. I got my uh, apron on so I don't get glue everywhere. I mean, paint. Let me see if I can find it real quick. All right. I'm going to show you how to make a disco emerald green. This is a beautiful color. So you get you, get you a jar. This is called dragonfly. Get you some dragonfly. Stir it up. Do the same thing. Dip it in disco silver. Now we're not, I'm not making this clean, we're just showing you. Get it real hot. Then go down, dip it off, dip it in there. Now don't shake it off, just kind of let it melt on there. I would suggest wiping your string stick before starting another color. What are you talking about string stick? And there, that makes that color. That's called a disco emerald green. That's a beautiful color. So there's three new colors. Just get you some disco silver and some dragonfly, TJ's tackle. And some disco, I mean, uh, some candy paint. Because <coughs> that the, uh, the disco paint that that factory make it don't look pink. And then you got you get you some flashy yellow and some disco paint. And there's your three new colors. I'm going to post it up there and let you all watch it so you'll know. And, uh... I don't mix, uh... Contamination to your other colors. No. Oh, it don't matter. That little bit of paint on it ain't gonna mess with that. It's gonna hurt it a bit. Uh, so God bless y'all, and I hope y'all learned something.